pelajar juga dia tak boleh dulu ke tahun dia Maksudlah, Adi Rabin bantu mereka Betul Adi tak buat Because they dried out since we can Which look dry out I'm dry out, what is high about? Okay Kau turn to the right Kau turn to the right Turn to the right. Or turn to the right. Okay, the week set you back a little bit, mm. but you've dried out more. So, oh, I don't know what. Yeah, you dried out a bit more than you were at the weekend. Yeah. You are a bit off for three weeks out, but that's because of last week. Yeah. So, protocol is to see what you look like. At the end of this week, so I decided to make a decision. Yeah. You can bounce it back because obviously we are the cardio. And Wednesday, unfortunately, you have no rest day, you're doing the boxing class. On Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. And on Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll make a decision. Okay. Yeah? yeah. You're a little bit off. No, I yeah. am. Like so my, my, my water during my week off as well. Yeah, we've dropped your carbs Four. down. Yeah. Now, so you've dried, and this is only. Second day. I, I think you can put it together. Yeah, I think you can as well. When you just did your yeah, weeks, he's your coming weeks, through. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Michael Goldsmith in the background from UK's head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And your, your shoulders are straight. Shoulders are straight, right? Yeah. Your chest is fuller. Yeah. So let's see how you look at that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just there. And we just need to add in some um, ab training. So tomorrow, I'm giving Marcus a few instructions. But tomorrow and Saturday, and we'll take you from there. Okay. But in all, in all respect, you're not looking bad. Cool. Yeah? Yeah. So I listen to the week that set you back a little bit. Mm. So none training, just at uni. But your education comes first, babe. Yeah? This week's gonna be a hard week. But yeah. I gave you last week freedom. I didn't want to take that week. You have to get back to this will come back in. <laughs> 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 you give something, I take yeah, something. Yeah. But I think you can put it together, man, honestly. Yeah. Waist is tiny, back is wide. Yeah, like you said, you're not, regardless, you're not going to step on stage if you're not ready anyway. Yeah. So, you just, if you want to step up 120%, then step yeah. up 120% now. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, you, you can hit that early qualification. Yeah. Yeah? Yep, yep, yep. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yo. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? Today is Friday. The 7th of April, it's 15 days out, and I do apologize, I am sluggish a bit right now. So, just woken up from a nap under an hour, definitely. Nah, I don't feel better. I did have um, back yesterday with Mark. I was supposed to vlog that, but um, just before I left the house, I checked my battery on my camera and it was 10%. So, couldn't vlog that. But today, I've made sure I'm fully charged. Well, I'm not. My camera is fully charged, sorry. <laughs> and I have chest with Tracy and then low intensity cardio for 45 minutes after that. I. I've seen progress this week, which is good. As you know that conversation with Tracy and, and Mike from UK Aesthetics. <laughs> um, I needed to catch up and I'm, I am catching up, but Tracy wants to take a look at me at the end of this week to make a decision whether she thinks I'm ready. Um, I think I will be. This week has been so tough, and next week will the intensity will only get higher. You know, I'll only be going harder to try and make up for time lost during my time at college. I've got boxing again tomorrow morning, 9:30 a.m. till 11. I'll probably weight train again tomorrow afternoon as well, which is what coach made me do last Saturday. That was tough. 
I want to catch up. I need to do whatever I need to do to get into condition. I am looking a lot better, um, but I'll save the quarter turns for the check-in with coach to see whether she, you know, the decisions she makes. I'll leave it until then. The way I'm feeling, to be honest with you, because I've upped the intensity so much so early on, it actually feels like I'm going through a peak week already, which if anybody who's competed before knows what peak week's like, then you know how that feels. Basically, that is the week where you go through all your depletion training, you, your carbs that you've, you've taken on, you, you train and you absolutely just run yourself into the ground. You deplete all glycogen stores from the muscle and you just feel like death. You look like death. You see this? Yeah. Not good. I saw Mike today actually on my way home from work. I popped into the gym because I left my key there last night. He said my face looks like it's sunken in more. I don't know. I feel like it has, to be fair. I thought I was tired before. I wasn't tired before. I am shattered now. And I'm only I'm only coasting on six hours, six and a half hours of sleep a night. But the thing is, it's not six. There's a difference between six and a half hours and the six and a half hours interrupted by a toilet break, which I am having because I'm on seven liters of water a day now. So they're two different things. And because I'm on the latter, I'm doing the latter. It's, yeah, it doesn't feel good. So I need to see if I can try and up my hours of sleep. But I guess it's just prep. The only thing that keeps me up is having to do that little bit of prep before bed. To do that at the start of the week like I should have been doing and not be lazy then I'll be fine. I should be able to creep into even just an extra half an hour, seven hours. That's my what I say is my bare minimum. I like to get chest tonight with coach. So I'll be vlogging that because as I said, camera's fully charged. So let's do it. I'm going to take my, my cuts. No, not my cuts. Sorry. I'm going to take my pre-workout, my Animal M stack, and I'm gonna get through it, that's, that's the only way. I haven't really been over it, but sups at the moment, the order in which I take them and how many of them I take. Cuts, animal cuts in the morning before cardio. Animal pack after breakfast. Animal cuts again, six hours after the first lot. CLAs with every other meal. Animal M stack as my pre workout stack as my post workout. I'm trying not to moan. I'm trying to tell you guys exactly what the processes are during prep. It's kind of hard to distinguish between the two as I'm solo calves right now. But um, anyway, yeah, that's what happens. Peak week, carb depletion get rid of the carbs that I've consumed by my training and absolutely blitz all glycogen stores like I said and then come close to the competition put carbs back in and what that will do is allow my muscles to absorb the carbs and make me look bigger and fuller I'll be looking very flat when I drop my carbs low for a very long time that influx of carbs after a long period of time will make my muscles look fuller as they'll absorb it you'll see close to the time but yeah this prep is it's starting to become the hardest one I've ever done because of playing catch up so just taking each day at a time and just going through the motions at work I'm like this close to biting this close I don't bite not physically as in like I don't I, just 
the banter at work. Like, I just can't be bothered. People are talking, you know, to say something. And, you know, you disagree, you don't just shake it off. When, you sh when you're dieting, you disagree, and it's like you have a response for everything. Anyway, I just zone out. Literally, just I can't be bothered to be there, but obviously, I have to be. So, I'm just there. I feel like I'm just dragging my feet. Like, obviously, I'm doing my job still, but just so tired. So, so tired. So, I'll catch you guys in the gym.